Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the line and angle tool within the key point curve toolbox. So you can access the tool by going under curves, key point curve toolbox, and under line, click and hold, you'll be, access, uh, you'll be able to access the tool right here. To be honest, I don't see why this tool uh, exists because, well, to be honest, that there are more efficient ways to do this. So, but let me just go over how the tool works. So what you have to do is you just have to create a curve like this. And let's say you want to create a curve that is, let's say about 30 degrees from this uh, point right here. So what you have to do is click on the tool and it says select a curve like this. And basically that'll start the, uh, that'll be the starting point. And you can either use mouse to specify endpoint or relative angle. So you can either do this, which uh, shows you what the angle is, or we just get rid of this and the guidelines, or let's do it over again. Let's do this and enter relative angle. So let's say you want to create an angle that is a 30 degrees from this curve. All you have to do is enter 30 like this. And basically it's going to give you a sort of a guideline in which you can create a curve and it'll stay 30 degrees. Of course, you can also adjust uh, the angle, but to be honest, I don't see the point because right now I cannot snap this and let's say I want to use this to snap to this point over here. I can't, I cannot snap it. So basically it's stuck over here uh, in a random place. So you can create an angle. So let's say I want to do it, um, I don't know, 265 degrees like this. And while I can do this, I don't know if there's a point. So the 265 degrees is measured from this, uh, this axis over here and going clockwise. But then you would have to actually move it. And in which case it, you know, involves another step in which case you can just create a curve like this, or let's say on just a line like that. You can just uh, strike a line like this and you can just rotate it. So you can just say 200. Well, right now we are at a side view. So I would need to do say 265 like that. And I will get the same result like this. And you can of course use the length radius adjustment to, to as you, uh, as you see fit. But since this option is, um, exists and it's much easier to snap this point over here, to be honest, I don't see a lot of point in the use of line and angle tool. That said, well, that's a tool. That's how you use the tool. Okay. So that's it for the line and angle tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.